Lesson 272, how can illusions satisfy God's son? How can I be satisfied with illusions? How can you just keep on going on chasing illusions? How can you ever be satisfied with that? So that's our lesson today, 272. Yesterday, we decided to use Christ's vision. Today, we're asking questions. How can illusions satisfy God's son? Father, the truth belongs to me. My home is set in heaven by your will and mine. Can dreams content me? Can illusions bring me happiness? What but your memory can satisfy your son? I will accept no less than you have given me. I am surrounded by your love, forever still, forever gentle, and forever safe. God's son must be as you created him. So this lesson is probably very relatable to people who have everything they could, their ego minds could ever want, and yet they don't have true peace because they still haven't found the mother load, if you will, the love of God. So today we pass illusions by and if we hear temptation call to us to stay and linger in a dream we turn aside and ask ourselves if we the sons of god could be content with dreams when heaven can be chosen just as easily as hell and love will happily replace all fear so what do you think of that, my dear? I mean, do you want to just be content with dreams when you could have heaven, when you could have truth, when you could have love, when you could have the stuff that really satisfies you? That's what Lesson 272 is asking with how can illusions satisfy God's son? Tina Jesus for Lesson 200. 72 related God's love to being the love of your life, the absolute love of your life. And anything less than that is just merely a waste of your time, a one night stand, if you will. So, why would you commit to wastes of your time when you could commit to the love of your life by going to the heart, going to God's? love for you. So in going to God's love, when you are aligned with love, you will attain everything you truly want. And what you truly want is the deep, meaningful, and profound aspects of life that will easily come to you when you are aligned with love. But you've got to go to the heart. You've got to go to God's love for you and commit to the love of your life. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. Like, why? what are you doing here, ho? Why are you just having all these one night stands? Essentially, that's all it is. You know, the meaningless illusions, the dreams, they aren't real, they don't care about you, and they're not gonna call you tomorrow. So there you go knock it off. Now it's time to commit to the love of your life that will always be there, that will love you more than anything you've ever imagined because that's all it knows, that's all it does. God's love is eternal. It is in every it is everything. So do you want everything or nothing? <laughs> Seems pretty easy when you look at it that way. But the ego just loves one night stands. The ego loves shiny things and illusions and, you know, feeling like it's in charge. It wants, you know, it wants, it just wants, that's what it does. So anyways, can you align with love? Can you align with real love, with your heart, with the deep, profound, meaningful experiences that you want? So that's what we are Coming up on here in lesson 270, 
to. And it does start with the declaration, the realization that the truth belongs to me. How can I have everything I want? Because it belongs to me. How can I have love? Because it belongs to me. The truth belongs to me. I've never left my source. My home is set in heaven by God's will and my own will. They are one. So on that note, can dreams content me? Can illusions bring me happiness? What but your memory can satisfy your son? So the only thing that will satisfy at this point is remembering our divinity, remembering our truth. I will accept no less than you have given me. I am surrounded by your love forever still, forever gentle, forever safe. God's son must be as you created him. So in that, we can pass by illusions. And in that, we can just call out, call out the dreams as illusions. And it does make them, it does, that does make it easier to pass them by. Not in a sense that you're depriving yourself, but you just, you know, that ain't going to cut it anymore. Sorry, bro. I'm the son of God. I will accept no less than the truth. Pathwaysoflight.org. Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles Workbook Lesson 272 Insights. How can illusions satisfy God's Son? The sentence that stood out to me today is I am surrounded by God's love, forever still, forever gentle, and forever safe. I repeated that statement over and over in my mind to allow myself to open up to the feeling of being surrounded by God's love. Gradually, I felt myself soften, relaxing into the comfort of love. In love, there is no conflict, only unity. My heart fills with joy as I feel the gentleness of God's love. I am at peace as I rest in the stillness of God's love. His love overflows in me and I am inspired to embrace all with that love. There is nothing else I would rather do. There is nothing else that has any meaning. The love in my heart reaches out and surrounds all that I see and only love returns to me. Thus I see the radiant face of Christ everywhere. And yet this joyous feeling that overflows my heart is but a hint of the heaven God created as my home. Holy Spirit, help me to open my heart more to the love that surrounds me with its stillness, its gentleness, and its safety. Help me to look past all illusions as I forgive the dream and accept the reality of God's gift of love. As I work with this lesson, I am led to look at all the substitutes I have made for God's love. What illusions do I still crave to cling to? What illusions do I still think would bring me happiness? Today, my practice is to mindfully Look at the illusions I am still making real in my mind and hand them over to the Holy Spirit to be translated into truth. That is what forgiveness really means. Taking all my illusions to the Holy Spirit to be undone. In today's lesson, it says, today we pass illusions by. If I am sincerely interested in awakening to my true identity in the one Christ mind, I will take this seriously. I will look at the places where I am not passing illusions by and recognize that these are barriers to my return to love. Holding on to the symbols of separation, special things, special people, special times and places is not 
letting illusions go. This happens only in the unforgiving mind. Today, I would take one more step towards true forgiveness. Today, I would take one more place where I am making illusions real to the Holy Spirit to receive a transformed perception. Today, I would practice forgiving illusions. In reality, they are representative of an unconscious grievance against God. God is. Love is. If I hold on to anything else, it is a grievance in my mind. True forgiveness is letting go of these grievances. Today I would practice forgiveness and open to the true happiness of God's one eternal love. How can illusion satisfy God's son? Today I will practice letting go of trying to make something out of nothing. Pathwaysoflight.org So this is one of those A Course in Miracles concepts that I feel like the ego could trip you up on. I'm sure that's probably possible with every turn, twist and turn. The ego is just waiting to kind of be like, oh, well, then if you don't like anything here, what's the point? Well, isn't life boring and stupid, you know? So that's not exactly what we're trying to do here today. We're not trying to take the sparkle and zest away from life. It's just what is truly true? What is truly meaningful, you know? If you're not surround, feeling surrounded by the love of God and the peace of God and, and feeling free and forgiveness because you're not holding any illusion against anyone or anything, then you are not getting the full experience that you could. So you can, you can still have nice things. I mean, I do, but I don't think that my happiness depends upon them. So in that way, I'm not falling for the illusions or being satisfied by merely illusions. So I don't know, this is kind of an interesting one for me because like, I definitely took, took the path of getting damn near everything I want and then still being like, I'm still not happy because I was still holding grievances. So until you practice forgiveness, you know, it's everything's going to be tarnished regardless of how sparkly and perfect it it is in the dream. So that's that for me, I think. Um, Just a chill day here. How can illusion satisfy God's son? So, I mean, you you can tell when you're dissatisfied in the dream. You think you got to buy more, shop more, go do something, anything like, you know. But what you really want to start tapping into is what truly brings you peace and happiness. And you can still get in the flow state in the dream with all your stuff if, if that's what you will. But remember that there is a greater truth waiting for you because it's yours and you deserve it. It's yours. You can claim it at any point and you can remember that you are God's son. You are at home in heaven and that's that and then what in this dream could ever bring you down or make you fearful or 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 so today we pass illusions by we pass them because we forgive them forgive them (laughs) and if we hear temptation call to us to stay and linger in a dream we turn aside and ask ourselves if we, the sons of God, could be content with dreams because we can choose heaven just as easily as hell and love will happily replace all fear. So use this lesson in the places in your dream that are still uncomfortable for any reason and that reason being that you're still holding a grievance or a concept of separation 
or you are still considering the past to have actually happened when it didn't. So in those moments, say, how could I even be content with this dream, with this fearful dream, with this sad dream, with this disappointing dream? How could I ever be content with this when I could just as easily choose heaven instead of this stupid hell? And on that, love will happily replace all fear. So lesson 272, how can illusions satisfy God's son? Hey, Jesus, they don't. Okay, so quit asking these rhetorical questions that confuse everybody. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We love it. So anyways, on that note, good job. Keep going. Less than 100 freaking days to go to the end of the year. Not that we want to rush salvation or anything, but... It is kind of fun to think about that we will have completed A Course in Miracles before you know it, before you even know it. So, yay. And then we just move on to something else, right? We move on to the next phase of our studies. Because even when you do complete the your 365 lessons, the work has literally just begun. 